smoke a chunk from a dollar All right, welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be showcasing some mods that I've made based on trucks here in Jamaica. And I'll also be giving you guys some information about the trucks, just in case there's some people watching who might not know much about the trucks that I'm featuring on this list today. So the first truck on the list is actually one of my favorite trucks in Jamaica right now. And it's actually my favorite mod that I've made for the game so far. And it's this. Kenworth W900. Now this W900 belongs to Sand Depot out of Clarendon. It features a Cummins N14 engine along with an 18 speed transmission. Now at the time of making this truck, the driver for it was Milo. I'm not sure if this is the truck that he's driving right now, but if you know this truck, you know who Milo is. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this truck. Let me know what you would rate it on a scale of one to 10. And let me know how well you think I did on this replica build. So the next truck on this list is a very famous truck here in Jamaica. I think 90% of the people watching this video probably knows like everything about this truck. Who the driver is, the engine, like everything about this truck is supposed to be very well known. This truck is a Luana Truck Show Champion two years in a row. And it's none other than this 2013 Pro Star Dump Truck. So this truck is owned and operated by Shepard aka Sheepy. And it features a 525 Cummins ISX engine, features a 18 speed transmission, I think it's a 40 ratio. And some other specs about this truck the body is a 17 by 5, it's on air ride suspension. Um, everything about this truck is custom. And if Sand Depot's Kenworth did not exist, this probably would have been my favorite mod that I've made for the game. Um, so there's actually multiple videos on this truck, both in real life and in ATS that I've done on this channel so you guys can go and check that out if you haven't watched them already. So the next truck on this list is a mod that actually wasn't made by me but it was made by a friend named Jay Dangles aka Dingles Modding and this mod is actually for sale so if there's anyone watching who would like to purchase this mod I'll leave his information in the description down below. So this mod was based off of Tolman's um, International Pro Star this truck features a 14 litre Detroit diesel engine along with an 18 speed transmission. And this truck belongs to Royal Haulage and the driver for the truck is Sean Rickman but he's well known as Tolman. Now the next truck on this list is another one of my favourite trucks from Jamaica. Um, I think it's one of the most unique looking Lone Stars in the country. Not that there are many Lone Stars here but this is definitely one of my favourites. Um, this Lone Star belongs to Ivory Wong and Sons Trucking. The driver of this truck is the son of the late Ivory Wong, Charlie Wong. And this truck features a Cummins S6 engine along with a 80 speed transmission. Now this truck has gone through a few different transformations. This look being the most recent of the transformations. <laughs> So the next truck or trucks on this list is two of probably the most famous Peterbilt's that has ever been in Jamaica. Um, everybody know these trucks. Um, these trucks were owned by Pusey Trucking, um, was owned and operated by the late Coco Paul who passed away last year. I built these trucks as a tribute for him. So everybody knows these trucks. These are Coco Paul's 3, 379s. Um, very famous trucks, everybody knows and loves these trucks. Um, the red one was actually driven by Cocopa personally and the burgundy looking one or black or whatever color you call that is uh, was driven by his son. Um, that one featured a Cummins ISX engine with the 18 speed transmission and the red one featured a 3406 with an 18 speed transmission. Um, unfortunately, the black or dark purple one was in an accident, I think, in late 2020. So that truck is no longer in action. But the red one is owned by a company out of St. Thomas. So that truck is still on the road. 
and still in working condition so yeah love these trucks um i did do a video on these trucks so if you guys wanted to you know see a video with them you guys can go on the channel or i'll leave i'll leave the description i'll leave in the description like all the videos that i've done for trucks on this list if there are videos for them i'll leave them in the description so the next truck on the list is money chains international 19900 yeah so this truck was one of two trucks that were owned by Nikoi Chin, who passed away um, late last year. So this truck was built as a tribute to him. This is, like I said, one of two trucks that he owned. He was better known for his Western Star. Everybody knows that truck that featured a 12.7 meter Detroit diesel with an 18 speed transmission. But this 99 was the truck that he was operating during the time of his passing. It featured a Cummins ISX engine along with an 18 speed transmission. So if you actually want this truck for your game, I actually released it um, in the tribute video that I did for him last year. So you guys can go watch that video. The truck will be in, in the description so you guys can download it. But yeah, rest in peace one engine. So the last tribute truck that we have on this list is this Peterbilt 379. Now this truck was made as a tribute to Spiegel Williams, um, the owner and operator of No Limit Trucking. Um, this was one of the most famous trucks from his fleet. Um, it featured a Cummins N14 engine along with an 18 speed transmission. Um, the driver of this truck is currently Wee Wee. I think that's his name. I hope I pronounced it properly. But yeah, I also released this mod in the tribute video that I did for him along with some other trucks from his fleet. So you guys can go watch that video if you haven't already. And if you want the trucks for your game, the links will be in the description of that video. So the next truck on this list is actually my favorite truck from St. Mary. And it's this International 9400 dump truck. And this truck is owned and operated by Dane. Yeah, yeah, just just Dean. I don't know his full name or or anything. As everybody that I talked to referred to him as Dean or Cooliman, which is what is on the windscreen of this truck and the wind deflector as well. Uh, so this truck um, is from Saint Mary, as I said before. It features a Cat C15 6NZ along with a 15-speed transmission. So this down truck is Dane's second, well not his second truck, his truck that he built after his Western Star got into an accident that put it out of commission. So I think this truck though is the fav is my favorite out of the two, but let me know what you guys think in the description. Did you guys prefer the Western Star or do you like this one more? So I already did a video on this truck on the channel already, but that was before this truck went through like a second transformation before he added some more lights to it and a drop axle so let me know if you guys want to see another video you know with the new look um on the channel and i'll try my best to get that video out for you guys so the next truck on this list is another truck from saint mary um i think it's from saint mary if it's not from saint mary don't you know bash me in the comments but i think this truck is from saint mary and i have friends from saint mary so i probably should ask them you know if this truck is from St. Mary or St. Anne before I come on here and make myself look like an idiot but yeah this truck is actually one of my favorite international 9400 dumb trucks in Jamaica and it's owned by Bunda and Sons Trucking uh, this truck features a Cummins ISX engine most of the trucks on this list is ISX but yeah it features a Cummins ISX engine with an 18 speed transmission yeah, I built this truck a very long time ago and I was supposed to do a video on it, but I haven't done one yet. So like, let me know if you guys want to see a video with this truck, along with other trucks that are in that area as well. Let me know if you guys want to see like a convoy video with them and I'll try my best to get it done for you guys. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this truck in the comment section down below. And let me know what you would rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. So the next truck on this list is an International 9900. Um, this 9900 is owned by, well, was owned by Bob. Um, this truck featured a 550 horsepower Cummins ISX 871 engine 
with an 18 speed transmission. Um, I also did two videos on this truck on the channel, both in real life and in ATS. So if you guys want to see those videos, they're on the channel so you can go ahead and watch them if you want. So let me know what you guys think about this truck in the comment section down below. And let me know what you would rate it on a scale of one to 10. But the last truck on this list is my favorite dump truck in Jamaica and it's this international Paystar dump truck. Now this dump truck is owned by Sand Depot and it features a Cummins N14 along with an 18 speed transmission. Um, this truck features a 24 series New World rear end suspension along with a 20,000 pound front end and a 20,000 pound drop steer. So let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys rate this truck on a scale of 1 to 10. And that's it for this video. So let me know again. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I'll try my best to get them done. And yeah that's it.